Now Sachin Tendulkar has been to Tihar Jail, so has Kapil Dev, but it's not for what you're thinking about. They went as sporting icons of the country to spread some cheer among the inmates. On Monday, it was the turn of Virinder Sehwag, Murli Karthik and Shikhar Dhawan to play a visit to one of Asia's largest prisons as chief guests on the 11th edition of the Tihar Olympics. A packed stadium, a motley crew of cheerleaders and some big hits. All the razzmatazz that comes with 2020 cricket. But this wasn't your usual game in a park, but Delhi's Tihar Jail. And this was their version of the Tihar Olympics. We remain under tremendous mental stress and strain here. So basically, to keep them busy, to channelize their energy into the right direction towards positive positivity. Eleven years have passed since former director General Kiran Bedi started the Tihar Olympics. And in the last decade, this event has grown each year. This year's edition would have passed off as just another one for these inmates around me, but for the presence of Indian cricketers such as Virender Sehwag, Murli Karthik and Shikhar Dhawan. The trio were given a heartwarming welcome by some of the most dreaded criminals in the country, including Manu Sharma, convicted of the murder of Jessica Lal. I think it's better to increase the pressure when they go back to jail, so that they can be able to live in society, so that they can be able to live in society, so that they can pass the message. I always wanted to come here just to see the place, what happens. I won't do anything bad, I won't do anything bad, but just for the normal... Uh, it's no museum, it's no garden, but uh, it is a place where people normally dread uh, a place like this. And I wanted to just come and experience the entire thing. As for the match, it came down to the last ball with two runs needed. But jail number one team only managed a single to tie the match with jail number two. In New Delhi, with camera person Anumitra Chakladar, Jaidi Bhandarkar for NDTV.